Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. Uh, I know I'm in semi-retirement, but I uh, have to do the public a favor. Um, got done at the gym and I saw a Nolan Kimber video about uh, Mervyn Cadman brushes. I don't know about you guys, but I can only last maybe a minute of listening to Nolan. The guy's English, thinks he's better than everybody else, and as was would say, he's not even Welsh. You know, he picks on prepubescent boys and like... Liam, you know, it's just, it's just not fair. So I figured you guys don't watch his videos, wouldn't want to anyways. I'm just going to post this on Uckwis and I'll leave it up on my YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, I just figured you guys might not want to watch that. You know, he's just, nobody likes him. You know, he may put a killer edge on a razor, but come on, Nolan, let's get real. Come on. But on to the real purpose of this video, I'll just decide. But we're here about the Mervyn Cadman brushes. Um, I've been meaning to do this video and seeing Nolan's reminded me I've been meant to do this months ago that I'd forgotten to do a video on Mervyn's brushes. And I just wanted to show you the two. I've got the UK Wet Shaving Society brush in, I believe it's 27 millimeter, uh, two band finest. And I've got a synthetic. And I just want to kind of quick go over these. Obviously the craftsmanship is phenomenal. I dig both these brushes. They're both extremely nice to hold. This one's a nice little chubbier. This one's got a nice small grip. You can kind of hold it two different spots. I traditionally just hold in here. But the color in here may come through. The sparkle that's in here, fantastic. But mainly about the knots because if you see a brush in pictures you can tell they look fantastic. But let me start with the synthetic first. Um, Mervyn sent this to me just to uh, check out and uh, I will say this, his synthetic, the tips, very soft, a little bit um, rougher is the wrong word, but not as soft as say the Uber Soft, and it has more backbone, so that was, I'm gonna show you in a second here, but you can see kind of the spring back there. It does splay. Um, I personally really enjoy this. This is, I believe, uh, second stiffest. This is, this is my stiffest, the Omega S brush synthetic even though this one it flops out it gets super soft so that's probably my second stiffest um, synthetic brush compared that to an uber soft uh, version one this is much much easier to uh, collapse down yeah just a little bit softer tips but yeah and then for the uber soft two fans so you guys can kind of compare this more of fan types so it's on an equal comparison but you can see once again, it, this one's got a little bit more of that backbone like the Cadman does. But so if you're looking for a synthetic that has a little more backbone, um, you're, maybe you're a bore guy and you still want a synthetic, or maybe you're somebody who just feels that a lot of synthetics are just a little too floppy, I can't recommend this enough. Handle wise alone, craftsmanship is awesome. But yeah, just a little bit dense, and it's, it's a dense knot as you can see. That probably plays part into it, but yeah, just a fantastic knot. Like I said, just a little bit uh, more backbone than a lot of the synthetics. I personally really enjoy it. I do prefer a little more backbone, so it does make me very happy. Onto his two band finest. This ranks right up there with my other two band finest, typically my favorite knot. Uh, and once again, very, very dense. This ranks right up there with my Brad Sears two band finest, which is possibly my favorite knot, so this would be darn close if it's not my favorite as well. Uh, what really impressed me about this brush, I think I've only lost two or three hairs. I've never had a brush go through that few hairs, and it's gotten plenty of use in there, so it is very well taken care of. It's very well, uh, whoever ties them for them and you know, glues them in, doing a fantastic job. Uh, but like I said, this right here is a stellar knot. Um, it's really, I can't see anything wrong with it. It's it, like I said, it performs very well. Obviously, you're comparing apples and oranges. This is 29 versus 27, so different size. But the Brad Sears, you can see the density, darn near the same, if not the same. And yeah, you look at similar loft here, and so these two are almost identical to me. Performs fantastic, and once again, craftsmanship is amazing. So I'm going to keep that short, guys. Um, I don't want to go on for seven plus minutes like that Nolan guy did because, once again, who?
who wants that? So who really wants to watch Nolan? So guys, check out Mervyn Cadman brushes uh, out of the UK. Yeah, shipping might be a little bit more, but honestly, support our artisans, guys. The guy does amazing craftsmanship, very easy to talk to, and I just can't be, I was very, very happy with the customer service. So check him out, Mervyn Cadman. If you have any questions, comment below and I will get back to you. Otherwise, uh, go check him out, or you can find him also at the UK Wet Shaving Society. God bless everyone. We'll see you next time.